look. So I'm going to go up to the top, 60s vintage film. And I'm looking at VF3. I can see already in the preset it's got a little bit of a faded look. So let's try that. Wow. Well, I like that. Well, that's kind of a good start. What do you guys think? Do you guys like that? Is that good? Do you guys like it? Hello, J Diggity. Welcome to the show. I like it. I think it's good. I'm going to go with this one. I did like, remember that earlier preset that I pulled up? I said I liked how cool it was. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and cool these shadows a little bit here. I like how the blacks are lifted, but maybe a little bit too much. I might bring those down. Let me try bringing the intensity down, just see where that goes. No, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like this look. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's play with the black point to start. It's a little bit too faded. So let's see here. If we look at the settings, we look under light, um, I can see shadows are pulled down. Blacks are way down. So let's... Um, Let's, let's, actually, no, let's pull this down even farther. Oh, I see what it's, this combination of settings, it's, it's, I don't want to fade it. I want to make it a little bit blacker. So, interesting. I wonder, there's probably something in the curves. Let's go to the curves and see what's happening in here. Oh, yeah, a lot happening in the curves. Okay, see, so look in the bottom left corner. See how this point right there is raised up above zero? That's what's lifting the blacks. So, I'm going to pull that back down. I want to bring those blacks down into place. Maybe not quite that much. Let's leave them a little bit lifted in there. All right, cool. Now I want to play with my shadow colors. And I could do that by going into the blues in here, but I don't want to do it that way. I wanted to work with this image using, let's go to the, is it, that's not details. Um, it's not light. Which settings am I looking for? Uh, is it this one? Nope, it's not those ones. Where? Oh, toning. I think that's, what, there we go. That's what I want, toning. I'm looking for the shadow toning. I want an easy way to add some cool into the shadows. So let's start with a color preset um, that, that's a lot, but we'll start with that. Go into the shadows here, and let's pull this down a little bit. Uh, maybe don't do more of an aqua. Ooh, that's kind of that kind of aqua y color is cool. Oh, I like that. It kind of it pulls in some of the um, the aqua from this bottle in there. It's kind of integrating that throughout. I like that. I do like that actually. So if I just tap and hold, yeah. If I tap and hold, we go back to the original. See how if you look at those bottles, you see that kind of aqua y color in there. I like that color. I'm drawing that out a little bit, if you will, into the rest of the scene. Uh, let's play with the colors a little bit more. I'm digging it. I like that. Okay. All right, we're off to some, we're off to, we're getting somewhere. Uh, the horizon line isn't straight. The countertop is not straight. It's ever so slightly off straight. So let's fix that. Let's go into the crop tool and straighten this out. And there's no line to draw to say that's straight, that isn't, but um, it's easy enough to just kind of rotate that. And boom. Okay, there we go. That's straight now. Excellent. Hmm, his face is a little dark. Let's just see. Is it, so it's not finding his face automatically. If you go into faces and it finds it automatically, we would see a box around his face. It's a little box on there. And uh, it would already be added. So that little box on there would look like up above where it says add face over here on the right. So um, right this area here, and I'm kind of like, I'm trying to point to it. So there, right above that, we would see a face with the number one on it, but it's, or there isn't one. So I'm going to tap add face. And that is going to add a box that I can position anywhere. So let's go ahead and position this around his face. And when it ha when you add it manually, you'll notice that you're, for those of you who watched the face demo last week, you'll notice that you don't have as many options. So you get your skin options, but all the other options aren't there. Remember, there were all these things about nose shape and chin heights and teeth whitening and eyes and all this stuff. That only works if the app has detected the face automatically. This face is quite small, but I think more importantly, there's that bottle in front of it. So it's kind of like the app's going, it looks like a face, but it's got a bottle in front of it. So it's not detecting it, but that's fine. I don't not, I'm not trying to make him smile or anything. I wish I could still go into liquefy and really push around if I wanted to, but I don't want to make him smile. I just want to add a little bit of light to his face. Let's see what we can do on here. Um, uh, the RC engineers, greetings from Austria. Greetings back to Austria. Shane Ferguson says, I've asked the developers to add a ruler straighten tool. They will look into it. Oh, awesome. Good. Thank you. So that's, that's two polar folks. Um, our friend Shane Ferguson has asked for it. Now I'm asking for it. And that's just the ability to click and drag across the scene to say, this should be our straight horizon line and it straightens it out perfectly. It's a great feature to have. Super simple. Nice to have. Okay, back to it. So this face, uh, let's go into the skin controls and make this a little bit bigger. I don't know that I need to smooth his skin out at all, but let's, uh, what do I want to do? Maybe I'm brighten it up a little bit. Let's, let's take the skin tone, brighten that up a little. It's just doing a little bit. It's very, very subtle in here. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.